Okay guys, sorry for the mess, but I'm going to go through some of the changes I've done to my H1 so you get an idea of what you might be able to do. One of the things I did know that I wanted was I wanted a heated build platform. Um, I wanted to try to get the best print possible, but in order to do that, I used, I used an off-the-shelf heated print bed. I had to widen basically make a hole for it. So what I did was I printed out four pairs of the 90 degree blocks just like the blue ones that come on the original H1 like you see here. And on this top piece of all thread I extended it by about four inches and I put a connector on it. And you can see my white 90 degree block that I have printed right there. Looks just like the original. It's just a different color. It's not quite as pretty as the injection molded plastic, but it's going to do for now. Now what I did is I removed the 60 degree bent all thread. And just came right up. And put it in straight. Now the angle on these pieces are perfect to connect down with the new 90 degree block. As you can see I left just a little bit on either side. I can play with it. I can adjust it. Life is good. Okay, so you guys want to know how I got this heated build platform on my printer. Well what I did is you can see here this is the original uh, uh, injection molded plastic build bed. I have a piece of safety glass on top of that that's the exact same size as the bed. Seven and a half by seven inches fits perfectly. And what I've done is I've got carpet tape to adhere this glass onto the print onto the original bed. No big deal. I mean I don't think that's ever coming off. Now, I needed a way to space between this layer of glass and this build and the heated build plate. So what I've done is I've got some quarter 20 nuts that I have epoxied to the glass. And I've also epoxied to the bottom side of the heated build plate. Now, what I did do is I put some Kapton tape on the bottom here so in case I ever have to remove it, the tape is going to come off. So I won't destroy anything. Now on top of uh, the circuit board here, and that's all it is, it's a circuit board. With a bunch of lines, gets very warm, I get it 200 degrees. On top of that, I have an 8x8 eight eight piece of safety glass. Now there's safety glass of course is you have two pieces of glass with a layer of plastic film on the inside. I figure if these are good enough for windshield, it should be good enough for me. I haven't experienced any problems with it. It's working real well. Uh, the top side nice and silk screened. Looks really nice. Now here is the business end. They have one cable for the power and another cable for a thermistor that I have taped up to the bottom side that I can so I can control the temperature with my Velleman uh, thermostat controller. And for, these, for those that want to know um, how true this is, I did have to shim the bed a little bit. So you can see I've got business cards cut in the corners doing a pretty good job. On a side note, while the bed's heating up, whoever's running Mach 3 needs a Shuttle Pro 2 jog controller. Got the key set up where I can control my x-axis, my y-axis, my z-axis, as well as my extruder just by spinning the knob here. Or 
I can also hit the reset button or fire it back up. So when I'm sitting here watching my print start, if something happens, I can hit reset, everything shuts down, hit reset again, hit the z-axis, and I can back it up. If I need to change the position of any of the axes, I'm going to get a better shot of it now. And for the good juicy stuff that comes out. And you can see some of the filament coming out right now. Now, a little out of focus, but you get the idea.
Okay, let's take a look. Let's get the z-axis out of the way. Now if you guys can see that There we go, it's about It's 102C Just under 200 degrees Fahrenheit That's on the print bed So it is a little hot. Let's see how close we can get. Now it looks like it's a little too close to focus when I zoom in. Give an idea of the detail of the head. And how everything came out. So let's see if I can pop them off. Okay, well as soon as I pulled them off the bed, and I have a problem with, with these snakes, is that they'll warp a little bit. But as you can see, it's got really good definition. Let's see some of the reflection in the head. Comes out pretty good. One thing that's really nice though, is that bottom comes out just about like glass. There's little imperfections on the captain tape, that's why there's a discoloration. But unfortunately it's black and we can't get a good look at the layers. but I think you can get a good idea from there. One last thing. Half-inch PVC tubing is your friend. <laughs>